move these down just a little bit. Um, uh, kind of was nervous just a little bit. Um, I, I, I haven't measured a blazer in probably like 20 years, so I just was like, I don't know, whatever. So I was kind of nervous it was going to be the, the, the scene out of Tommy Boy with the fat guy in a little coat. But it's not. It's actually pro it's probably bigger, too big. Um, I uh, just want to say congratulations to all honored tonight. Um, it's it's really amazing um, when to when you feel the honor is all yours and and you're a small part of the evening of being honored. Um, so it's quite confusing a little bit. Um, obviously, CP, um, great 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 teammate and friend um, that I played with. Um, big story. Well that I remember the most. Uh, obviously, she's, she's six foot nine, and um, I'm, you know, my four foot eight, what? And it was World Cup and scored, I scored. And um, just as you hear from some of my teammates, I don't do anything at less than 100% speed. So um, just running toward her, she's just right there yeah come on jump on me you can and then I just see her changing her eyes changing as she realizes like I am not going to be able to handle this I just leap and we just tumble I just took her took her out um, so it was it was amazing <laughs> you remember that <laughs> she's just like yeah. like just please stop. Um, Dr. Bob, uh, amazing. Um, obviously known you quite a few years and now we're in the same state of Colorado. Um, Brad, watching you play. Um, I am not going to answer Casey or Brad because I'm from University of Portland. So uh, we'll, let the, we'll let everyone else settle that. But nonetheless, amazing for you. Um, uh, Dawn, just met you last night. Amazing accomplishments for you in helping build the sport. Um, and then my favorite play-by-play, -play, uh, JP. Good to see you again. Congratulations. Um, thank you, Tommy, for uh, presenting me tonight. Uh, obviously, uh, and thank you for being one of the best coaches I've ever had um, as well. Um, I didn't understand a word you said, so <laughs> that is why you're number one, number one, right? Thank you. Um, obviously, everybody uh, here um, is living life, and, and they have their own journey, their own story. Um, but to truly be a part of a, a sporting journey uh, on, the, on the soccer field is, is really extraordinary. Um, it doesn't, doesn't mean it's always amazing in terms of a positive uh, piece. Obviously, as you've heard, um, it's, it's, it's very extraordinary because it is very challenging and demanding. Um, in fact, it can be s downright brutal. Um, and, but again, that's the nature of competition and, and those that truly enjoy um, being a part of that are never afraid of, of one thing. I mean, the reason why you're there is because you want to you wanna play. Um, so for me, um, the, the easiest part was the field and the, and the journey and the extraordinary parts of things was always off the field that you had to deal with. So um, I just was really thankful for that dream of being able to uh, live out being the player at the highest level that I wanted to be. Um, the job that I was able to do, I wanted to score goals more than anything. Uh, I remember, I think it was, we were gearing up um, 2003 World Cup, and um, meaning no disrespect whatsoever, but this is just how I was. And my coaches at the time sat me down at individual meetings, which um, didn't really enjoy those too much, but. Uh, they're just like, you know, we want to really talk to you about the focus of what we want from you defending. And I was like, well, I don't really care about defending. Can we please, can, I'll do my part, but can we please talk about how you're going to get me in positions and to score goals and, and do the job that way. So uh, my biggest passion was always putting the ball in the back of the net. Um, so I'm very thankful that I continued to do so. Um, 
I think for me, the only thing I ever wanted to do was reach the, my highest personal level. Um, you know, and I know it's so, 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 so many, even being a, a coach of young, young people wanting to, to strive to be their best. I know so many want this, they do. Um, but it is really, truly a miracle when it does happen for the individual. So it, I, I feel like I'm, I, I have lived a small miracle um, being able to reach the level that I w dreamed about. Um, then uh, thankful for the growth of the women's game, um, obviously being uh, on the field uh, from that perspective was pretty unbelievable. Uh, we started out, I mean, I went to my first, I didn't make the 91 World Cup team, I didn't even believe I would, but I went to a pre-World uh, Cup tour. April Heinrichs got injured, so they needed, they're like, oh, we need to bring one more player, we can't waste the ticket. So let's, I, you know, I was young, I think I was 18, just finished my freshman year in college. Um, and from that moment to uh, leaving the game in 2006, I mean, it's just, the growth was unbelievable, especially throughout the 96 Olympic run, 99 run. Uh, one story that always sticks with me through 99 is we made it past Germany, um, then we beat Brazil um, in the semifinals, this was for 99, um, and uh, we are in Pasadena now in our, I think in the, back then, I think it was like a solid five, six days before the final. So we had a lot of prep days and we just were stunned. We're pulling up for training and um, it's police escorts, it's cordoned off, it's police after police, it's thousands of people around the training field. And we were in the bus, and I was happened to be sitting next to Acres at the time, and so we're getting off, and it's just like we're all just stunned. And she just turns to me, she's like, "Do you feel like you're an animal at a zoo right now?" <laughs> and it's like kind of like, "Yeah, I really do." We, it was that shocking for us, um, and the women's players, I, and I'm sure the men's players too, because the growth has been tremendous for both sides, but. Um, especially through our perspective, um, we, those moments were, were definitely really cool because you know how much uh, the game was growing with the increasing fervor from the fans, the media, um, and quite frankly, the fans in the stands, the amount of, amount of people there. So uh, thankful for that. Um, tremendous support through the years. Obviously, you can't you cannot discount that. Um, those are the, the people that help keep you sane. They help, you, help keep you humble. Uh, and they are the ones that are able, you're able to get back on the field the next day when times are tough. So um, for me, obviously, coaches, very important. Keeping you on your toes, um, helping you reach your highest level um, that even you can't even see. They can see more in you. Um, obviously, Clive Charles, one of my biggest uh, influences, um, Coach Sermani over there, two of the great ones for me. Um, uh, my mom, big support, uh, single mom of two, raising my brother and I, um, and just she, always there, always there on the sidelines after her early start and her long work days for us, so thank you, Mom. Um, yeah. And to your friends who always say you were amazing, even when you weren't, right? So, um, can't, you gotta love your, your friends, totally lying to you. Um, fans and media, obviously, uh, that extra feeling you get when you know they love watching you play, uh, that's a really neat thing. Um, them being appreciative of, of, of uh, what you are expressing on the field is, is really special. Um, obviously, teammates, they're a massive part of where I am right now today. Um, and again, to have been on the same field as all those women, uh, driven, uh, wanting the best for themselves, sacrificing, uh, obviously banding together, uh, wanting the same things I did is absolutely my honor to have played with them. 
Uh, my psychologist has been a life changer. I've uh, been going to him for, since 2003. Um, been amazing, huge support. Uh, and I, just as I wind up uh, my speech here for you guys, um, I'm great, grateful, really grateful to be a part of continuing to grow the sport. You know, the soccer knowledge, uh, the experiences that I can share um, in a small way. I'm just a coach now. I get to be a part of helping the next generation in their pursuit of their highest level. And I'm really grateful that come Tuesday, my reality check hits me hard, coming from this high to now taking questions about why Sally didn't play, why didn't you start Susie? <laughs> Can we please meet? We want feedback. Yeah, so that'll start Tuesday. I've held it off as long as I can. Um, but, uh, and I just want to say thank you to everyone in the room. Obviously, I'm, I don't have the experiences that some of the men do uh, with getting to know all of the uh, really amazing people that have helped soccer through the years. Um, but. It's really, really humbling to be a part, a small part in this, in this room. Um, I hope that we have, uh, the, the game is in its infinite growth stage and we need a lot of vision uh, and visionaries to help us continue to grow that on both sides, the men and the women. But um, thank you for all your support, watching our games, and uh, thank you for being a part of my honor tonight. Very. Very, very wonderful to be sharing this with you all. Um, and let's keep influencing the sport we all so dearly care about and love. Thank you.